Asurai is considered one of the most difficult cultures to command in battle due to their unique lineup. In smaller battles, they can easily dominate the enemy with skirmisher tactics, but for larger battles, it's not so easy to pull off. In this video, we'll be commanding an Asurai only army against all other cultures. The goal is to come up with different strategies based on the strengths and weaknesses of the enemy army. In order to keep these battles consistent across the board, I loaded a fresh sandbox game, forced peace with everyone for an entire year, and gave each clan 10 million dinars. This allowed each kingdom plenty of time to recruit troops, train them up through fighting bandits and minor factions, and be ready with top tier units when it came time for war. For our character, we'll be using an average mid-game build with no advantage over the enemy in terms of perks. No personal combat is allowed, but we can heal up mid-battle if needed. Our clan will be capped at a single party of 200 units and we can hire any Asurai troop that we want. We use the console commands to declare war on the enemy, besiege one of their fiefs, and wait for a large army to defend, resulting in a lopsided battle in favor of the enemy. Now I realize this video is much longer than what I typically produce, so I recommend using the timestamps to skip around to relevant sections and revisit the video as you run into issues in your campaign. With all of that out of the way, let's jump right into the battles. So let's take on the Vlandians. They've got pretty heavy concentration of cavalry. It looks like a decent amount of infantry too. And their infantry are half decent if they have a lot of the bill hooks. Those guys are pretty nasty, the Vosier. Let's come up with a plan to deal with these guys. So again, the majority of their army is cavalry. In order to blunt that, we need to take advantage of probably some terrain here. So let's go for one of these hills. So what we're going to do here, let's go with a central location here. This hill is kind of nice. We got a 360 view with downward slopes. That's going to take out some of the sting from the cavalry. So we got our infantry positioned up there. And we've got our archers and horse archers. Loose formation on the side. We'll probably pull them back behind. And then up front, we're going to use our melee cavalry to harass and hopefully break their formations apart the last thing we want them to do is is to charge with one big group of units if we can get them send their cavalry ahead first that would be the ideal situation and it looks like they're just charging straight in so that's perfect let's pull back a little bit now another thing we need to do is delay them from hitting if they're going to hit our archers we need to delay them yeah, so they're just coming straight in so let's keep falling back actually i think we need to pull back they're they're just going to go straight in so we'll pull our archers back up the hill yeah, they're right on our tail. So let's pull them straight into our line. All right, uh, let's see if we can get through, get our cavalry back here. Our archers need to be all the way up the hill. Same thing with our horse archers. And then the melee cav will just throw on the back here. Maybe we'll pick up some stragglers. All right, so far so good. Yeah, it looks like their infantry are still about 150 meters back. They don't have a ton of archers. We don't have to worry about that too much. But we are decimating the cavalry. Yeah, four to one. Once their infantry line meets ours, it's going to change. But I think for now, this will have to do. Now, we need to actually get our... Let's get our cav grouped in there. So we're going to get our archers into a shield wall. Horse archers into a shield wall. Actually, you know what? Horse archers can still fire at will. Yeah, we want to get everybody grouped up. If they're just going to swarm this hill with their cav, we need to stay as tightly packed as possible. Now, the infantry meeting our line, that is going to be a problem. That's where we're going to get the majority of our, our deaths from, I think. Yeah, you can see they're starting to take over. I don't know if it makes sense to unfurl just yet, though. We are... Yeah, they're, they're really hammering us. So we're going to go line formation charge with our infantry. And hopefully we can get an advantage here. Yeah, they've got... It's those bill hooks. Look at that guy. Just killed three right in front of us. The Volgier. And our palace guards aren't as good as theirs. Like, not even close. But I think we have more of them. So I think we can still... Let's actually pull... Let's pull our horse archers out. Let's pull our melee cab out. We don't want them to get chewed up in that. Yeah, I think just based on numbers alone, we can probably hold our own. Three... We're still ahead. Almost... Not quite 200. Maybe about 150 kills. We need to do a better job, though. We need to get... Yeah, we need to get more. So let's, let's actually reconsolidate here. Let's pull all of our infantry and not have them charge. Let's get our archers kind of safely back here. All right, range to melee cav. We'll have them close by, grouped up as well. Okay, so we successfully defended the first wave. Yeah, we're actually 200 kills ahead. 
And here comes another wave. We need to get up into position here so we can meet them at the top. We don't want them to have any kind of momentum coming into this hill. So we'll move our, our line up a little bit. The momentum of their cab are just going to push us back a little bit, but not much you can do about that. However, they do have a lot of archers right here. Oh yeah, they're, they're completely unprotected. Infantry are 200 meters away, so we're going to get... Let's get everybody grouped up right here. Let's get our archers on this downside hill. I don't. We can't really use our archers that well right now, unfortunately. We should have just destroyed their their archers. All right, their infantry are starting to come in though. We need to back up. So melee and ranged cav will back up. We took advantage of that local superiority as long as we could, and now we're we're backing up. So let's again maintain control of this hill. This is going to be key. So six versus four, we're still 200 kills ahead. We need to expand that lead a little bit further. And if they keep charging their, their cavalry, and I think we'll be able to do it. This is not going to be an easy battle though. All right, let's back up. Let's get off the ridge. All right, they are, yeah, here, this is the part where things get a little dicey. So they have a pretty long line of infantry. Let's spread our line out a little bit further and then we'll give them the charge command. There's really not much else we can do. We can try and pour some projectiles into their flanks. Let's do that. So horse archers, we're going to try and pick off the rear. Actually, melee cav. Why don't we get our melee cav doing something else? Maybe we can just go harass all these units that are kind of out in the open. Yeah, we're giving up the lead again. Their, their infantry are really strong. Where did our... I don't even know where infantry are. I think we might have lost them all. That's not good. Yeah, I don't really know what's going on here. We're just going to charge everybody. I don't don't know. We can try and reconsolidate at some point, but for now, I think we just need to charge everybody. Yeah, it's it's a little too chaotic to really understand what's going on. Yeah, I can't tell if these are mostly our cavalry or their cavalry. So we are starting to pull away ahead, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost 300 kills ahead. That's where we need to be. Okay, we're taking over now. So we'll probably... Let's actually pull the reins back. Let's get our cavalry back. Let's get our infantry in this little bunch right here. Archers kind of in the rear. Pull them back to safety a little bit. Okay, yeah, I see what's going on now. They still have infantry here. That's the problem. Their infantry are actually incredibly effective. We were able to grind them down. Yeah, th this, is, this is a bit of a grind fest, but... I'm really actually quite happy the way this is turning out, even though it was a little chaotic there for a sec. Let's get back up to the hill. We want to maintain that hill. They got reinforcements coming. We got 150 meters. That'll give us, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds to get up there. All right, horse archers and regular archers. Loose formation. We'll have them meld together. All right, we want to get our melee cab out of here. All right, me melee cab, get out. Go do something useful. So we're going to try and delay... Yeah, we want to delay this as long as we can. We're, we're in control now. We're definitely in control. Let's actually get our archers into a better position here. Looks like they're going to form up into like a skirmish line. Let's move our main line down the hill slightly and into a shield wall formation. And then if they want to exchange projectiles, we can definitely do that. We have the advantage here. So we should be throwing some javelins here. No, they're just feeding. All right, let's get our melee cab out of there. They're just feeding. <laughs> the feed. All right, the, the one benefit we have for our cab is they're so fast, so we can move them around the field faster than they can. All right, let's reposition here. They don't seem to be shooting too much. Why are you guys not shooting? Oh, they're in shield wall. I'm an idiot. If horse archers are in shield wall, that's basically the same thing as saying hold fire. So that's not good. All right, we got to go line formation. They're charging in. We want to get a wider line than they have. So let's spread out. Cavalry are going to come in on the flank. And we got to charge since they met. All right, here we go. Here come the Cavs. Save the day, boys. Please. We don't want to lose this in the last, you know, the ninth inning. Here we go. Here come the Cavalry. That's what I love to see. And we're going to give them a charge command once they meet. So they should be able to handle it on their own. I'm pretty sure we dominated these guys now so that was that was a very close one so looking at the kills on their end this is essentially the story that we were able to see play out in real time 
their infantry were incredibly effective. So they got basically even kills, which is bad for us because they outnumber us. I think it was about one and a half to one. So even kills means that we're losing. We need to get one and a half to one on anything for us to, to basically break even and, uh, you know, hire to, to win the battle. So again, the spearmen, crossbowmen, these guys did quite well. Swordsmen. Really, the biggest thing that we did here is we, we negated their cavalry by keeping everybody very closely grouped. Sharpshooters did pretty well. So let's look at ours and see who'd put in all the work. So 200 palace guards, 21 of them are left, 372 kills. So that obviously they did a lot of heavy lifting there. Palace guards did really well. The Ferris, actually our cavalry did really, really well, which is surprising because the vast majority of the time they're trash. The Mamluk guards, so our horse archers actually did quite well. Palace guards in every group seem to be doing the best. Veteran infantry did decently. Horse archers did okay. Our range units basically didn't do a whole lot, but we didn't have a lot of them to begin with, so that's not too surprising. So the Kazates have a fairly balanced army. They've got 140 Darkon. This is a lot of high tier units in this army, so this is not going to be an easy battle. We're somewhat fortunate here. They do have a lot of archers. And so I'm thinking what we're going to do is hide in these divots. That'll force them to come up the hill either by themselves with some horse archers or they'll send everybody. And then we'll have very close range. Because we went somewhat heavy on the palace guards, got around a little over 100 of them, we should be able to dominate them in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now our cav are probably going to be the key to winning here. So what we'll do is we'll sit behind this hill. And if they come over the top, we will peek over our top and let loose with both divisions if they don't they decide to skirmish that's not a big deal we will rotate and we will turn to meet them so it looks like they are pushing their horse archers first so let's go ahead and reposition here and we'll make sure we hold we don't want to let loose our javelins not against horse archers it's just kind of a waste all right here's the horse archers so we do want to meet them in melee combat so we'll send our guys forward now we should have a pretty decent advantage here against their cavalry when they come over the top like this and we also don't want to chase them too far so they're retreating, we'll just pull back. We can trade one-to-one -one on these opening volleys. This is not a big deal. But as the big lines meet, we do need to make sure that we're pulling ahead. They do have about a 300, maybe 350 unit advantage. And so that's one thing when you're fighting these big battles, you really need to keep an eye on it and make sure if you're not getting the kill death ratio that you need to stay afloat, you need to adjust on the fly. Because remember, it's not over if you lose your first wave. You have multiple waves. All right, they're coming again. We're just gonna cycle charge these guys now they're pushing straight over that hill if they stop then we have to approach it differently if they come over the top then again there's not really a whole lot we can do just turn and meet them now we do want them to turn we do want them to come over the hill they don't have a shock troop this is the kazates they physically don't have a shock troop all right let's make sure our horse archers are kind of out of the danger zone let's get these guys out of the danger zone as well Oh, and we just dismounted him on accident. That's lovely. All right, get him back up. Now, unfortunately, there's a bunch of horse archers right there, and they're probably shooting away their mounts. So we're going to have a lot of dismounted cavalry here. That actually might be a loss, just strictly based on that, just because I hit the wrong button. All right, let's, uh, let's turn to engage them. Yeah, it looks like they're stopped on the hill, so that's, that's not a bad sign, actually. And we will allow these archers to let loose. So anybody that peeks over this hill that's an enemy, they're going to get blasted. Yeah, we'll actually let them throw the javelins because they are getting hurt pretty bad. Yeah, we're still matching them. We're still matching them. Yeah, there's so many dismounted. Yeah, I, I messed it up. All right, we're going to go ahead and charge. Let's get our cab up on the hill. Let's get our horse archers up here. They can, they can do a little something about it as well. So again, we have a decisive advantage with our palace guards. So we're really looking to take advantage of that. Now they are charging our flank. That's not really good. Yeah, we need to get our, we need to get our cab involved here. Their archers are out in front, so we should be able to dominate them. So what we'll end up doing is let's just pull a flank. So let's get both of our, our cav lines. So both cav have some kind of range projectile. So we're just going to put them over here on a flank. Yeah, there we go. Now they're starting to do it. So 272. So we pulled ahead by 100 kills. Like I said, once the lines meet, that's when we need to get our decisive victory here. Now we've also encircled them. So if they try and retreat with this front line, they're going to have a real rough time doing that. Yeah, look at that. We've got all these units in the way. They are all ranged and melee, so... 
So really we need to have a decisive win here against their infantry and just wipe all these guys out. And then the reinforcements should be slightly lower tier, although they're not that much lower tier because we did let, you know, full year 10 million dinars each. Yeah, they should still have plenty of, of high tier. All right, let's go ahead and pull back. Let's get our, our cavalry back. Let's actually pull our infantry back too. I do like this little divot. That seemed to work out really well. So we are ahead of 200 kills. Not quite, but pretty darn close to it. So we need to have a gap of about 300. Oh, wow, that's a lot. What in the heck? Okay, we're going to get blasted here. So they have it. Yeah, they did not have that many. They must have gotten a giant wave of reinforcements that were just strictly horse archers. Now, if we can close the gap. Yeah, let's just. Actually, we're going to hold we're going to hold fire with our horse archers and see if we can just get these guys in melee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So infantry are getting them in melee as well. So this is. This is good, I think. Yeah, we're. I think we're getting the best of them here. So that's going to take a massive chunk out of the horse archers. So they had 180. They're, they've already lost half. This is perfect. Now they are getting reinforcements. That's all right. We can only deal with what's in front of us. So one thing at a time. So we've lost a significant amount of our cavalry. Yeah, we've got, what, 24 left? So hopefully we get some more reinforcements here. We should have some more coming our way soon. So six, four, oh yeah, we've we've done really well here. So we just need to keep up a similar kill death ratio, and we'll be in very good shape. Let's actually get shield wall here. They are starting to push us now. The archers, I don't really want the archers out by themselves either. So we're gonna get them inside the infantry formation. They're not gonna have a whole lot of luck shooting people off the horse. They're gonna have a much better time. Oh yeah, here they go. Okay, so we need to get out of shield wall and charge them. Their infantry are starting to come. Let's actually get our archers in loose formation now. Let's see if we can deal with... They yeah, have, but it's tough. They they have a... We got to deal with this cav. That's the thing. So we're going to actually keep our archers very tightly backed. They're going to have less um, less frontage from where they should fire from, but they're going to be able to handle melee combat much better, whether it's against their melee troops or their cavalry they get stuck. All right, let's actually get everybody. Let's just death ball. We need to death ball these guys right now. So we're going to force move our cavalry and our horse archers into this giant mosh pit we have going on here. And I keep hitting the speed up button on accident. Yeah, we just need to, we need to mob these guys. We've got local superiority here. All right, let's get everybody off that ridge. They do have 200 archers back there and we don't want to take shots from them. So let's re, again, we're going to reconsolidate everybody in the middle. And we just got to hope that we don't get demolished by their horse archers. They've got 82 left. It's, it's not a lot. But it's, it's definitely not a tiny amount. All right, ev yeah, everybody's... No, nope, everybody should be firing. Why has everybody got full ammunition? Let them let lose, boys. All right, we need to get a sit rep on where these guys are coming from. I think... Nope, they're already on us. Yeah, so we need to we need to charge. We need to get our... Let's get cab and infantry back. Let the infantry do their... Let our infantry do their thing. I think their cavalry are somewhat whittled down. We're going to lose formation with our archers. Then allow them to shoot. We're going to just stack them inside each other. Javelin Cav, do their thing. Yep, they're retreating again. Okay, we need to push. So if, as soon as they push back, we need to push with them so that we we need to take out as many of these guys as possible. If we allow them to retreat, it's going to be not good because then they can reconsolidate again. So we are 11. Ver oh, yeah, we are dominating these guys now. This is this is a massacre. So let's take a quick minute and see who did what. The palace guards, they performed well above their weight. In this case, 235 kills, almost 50 losses, not quite, and 50 left. So really, really good performance there. The Vanguard Ferris did OK. They got more kills than they had numbers, so that's fine. But really, these guys are not usually going to get the high KDR. They're, they're mostly to distract, break up the enemy formations and things like that. Again, our infantry did quite well. So the veteran infantry did well. The heavy cavalry, these are our horse archers. These did quite well. And then if we look at the enemy team, so who caused us the most trouble? The hunter, that's their archer. Darkon, that's their infantry, spearmen, spearmen. So their infantry are actually quite strong against ours. Their horse archers didn't really seem to be much of an issue. If you look at here, they've got plenty of horse archers. Yeah, again, the hunters are the main ones getting kills. I'm from Batania, so a lot of times these guys don't have a ton of archers. 
For whatever reason, the AI just does not recruit a lot of archers. It's mostly infantry and a lot of cavalry. That's the one benefit in this game about going up against Batania is you don't usually have to go up against a huge Fian spam, which they really should. This would be an extremely difficult battle if that were the case. So we're going to go with something fairly simple here. We're trying to get as much distance as possible. Our starting location over here was, you know, maybe 100 meters at most from the enemy. We want to have a little bit more distance. So if we need to adjust, we can do that. Also, it'll allow their cavalry to kind of hang themselves a little bit more. A lot of times you, you can get them to charge right into you. So they're back. We've got two lines of archers, both our foot archers and our mounted archers. And yep, right on cue, they're just going to charge in. So we don't really want anything to do with these guys. Let's just get out of the way. Let them run into our... Oh, nope, they're going to come after us. So. so it looks like we do need to pull back to our line. We'll just hide behind our or uh, shield wall and they should be able to handle most of these cav now we're gonna hold fire the last thing we want to do is throw javelins when we're getting charged once the charge hits we can let them loose again but yeah in the very beginning you generally don't want to have them throwing javelins just let them keep their shield up they'll be prepared for it so we'll counter charge with our cav and this should be fine let's let them loose they'll start throwing spears and stuff and the hope is that that line soaks up a lot of their their cavalry although it looks like they're actually getting decent trades with us usually we want to be at like four or five to one yeah we're getting about two and a half to one which is not bad but ideally we want to do a little better than that now that menacing infantry line is coming pretty close so let's back up we can back our archers up a little bit as well by a little more time we want to get a few more shots in if we can now we want to have our line long enough to envelop theirs but not too long to where our center is going to be then all right let's actually get our cavalry back there harassing the archers i don't think the cavalry are going to do a whole lot of good here so their infantry are still coming we're getting really good trades here we're actually almost four to one at this point so this is going really well so far but their infantry are coming we need to we need to line charge our infantry and this is where we're going to see a lot of red this is going to be the worst part we have to deal with their infantry but there's no no real way around it. And then we're going to send our cab over there to just sacrifice themselves. Keep the archers from shooting at us too much. We don't need the cavalry to get too many kills. We just need them to not allow the enemy to get kills on our infantry. So we're actually doing really well here. Wow. We are almost... We're over 300 kills ahead. That's exactly where we needed to be. So let's actually come down off the hill a little bit. And that'll give us more room to retreat. Let's get our archers down here, horse archers slightly behind. So as long as you keep your foot troops in loose formation, pretty much everybody can shoot. And as long as we keep our horse archers not in shield wall, no matter what other formation they're in, any shield wall formation is bad, but line formation is fine. And they basically act like they're in loose formation. They can shoot no matter how deep they are. So here we go, another round of cav, no big deal. Actually, let's get our cav in here to, to bolster our ranks just a little bit. Yeah, their, their cab are going to push us around, but not do a whole lot of damage with it. So it's not too big of a concern. The biggest issue is those inf the archers behind. They are pouring arrows into us at a pretty good frequency. And it, and it is picking off our, our infantry. Yeah, we're down to 100 infantry. That's not good. Let's go ahead and start backing up, actually. So infantry back up the hill slightly. I don't think we're going to get back in time. This looks like it's going to be a contact. So this could be really bad for us, actually. Yeah, we're... Okay, we're getting reinforcements. Well, shoot. I really would like to avoid the fight here until our, our reinforcements are grouped up, but unfortunately, they're coming in from a really stupid location. So let's... Yeah, see, we get all that red. We're just getting chewed up. Oh, we have to... Wow, we're going to give all that lead that we had back up, unfortunately. Yeah, the reinforcement system in this game is just utter garbage. It really needs to be a way where we can adjust how it happens or give us a notice that something came in so we can adjust, but no, nah, no. No, no, no. They just filter in wherever the hell they want. All right, it's kind of hard to see where they are, but it looks like they're still right in front of us, and they charge their archers, so their archers are in melee range now. You would think that's bad, but because these are Batanians, they do very well in melee range, so... This is not a good situation for us. We're, yeah, we're giving up a lot of our lead back, unfortunately, but... We kind of have to stand and fight until we can reposition. Now nah, we, we're not going to have a chance. The reinforcements are already upon us. And our reinforcements are just going to walk right through theirs. Okay, well, what can we do? We can spread our archers out over here. Spread our horse archers out over here. We can get our cavalry out of here. 
No, our, our infantry are already killed. Look at that. We didn't even have a chance. That's that's the sad part, is we didn't even have a chance. Right, we need to send our cavalry in to delay them. We don't want them reaching our archer line, which they're going to do because they're already on us. Let's back up a little bit, see if our cav can delay them a little bit. So we need to hit and run. Here's our infantry line. Let's see if we can get some kind of resistance going here. I don't know what kind of resistance we can put up at this point. They've already got a death ball. All right, they are... Yeah, we need to charge. They're still, so they're splitting their infantry kind of into two groups. So one group is going to be right here on our archers. There's no, absolutely nothing we can do about it. We just have to charge in now. Archers are going to do the thing. We just got to cross our fingers and hope that we've done enough. I, we might have done enough. This should have been a complete landslide victory, but because of uh, the reinforcements, it, it kind of turned into a nail biter. And they still have, oh wow, they still have 239 cavalry. So we dealt with the infantry, but what we need to do is we need to reposition. So archers are still kind of pushing forward. Let's get our infantry out of the way. We want to get as many arrows into them as, as we can before the lines meet. So let's keep our infantry over here grouped up nice and tight. Let's get our archers spread out. Yeah, see, they're already on our line. All right, here we go. They're turning back, so now they're getting slammed by arrows. What we're going to do is we're actually going to push forward with our, our, inf our melee line. And I'm hoping that that distracts them. No, it doesn't. They're just going to keep marching. So pull back archers, hopefully. Nope. They're not going to pull back. But it looks like these are mostly low tier, actually. So I think we might have this one still. Yeah, I've been fighting this one. This is probably my 10th time fighting this one, trying to figure out how to make it work. And I've, I've had a couple close wins, but I was really looking for a decisive one. And this one was it was looking like it was going to be the perfect win. And then the whole reinforcement fiasco happened, and that kind of cost us a lot. Like, we should have... We probably should have been 3 to 1 kill-death ratio on this one. This this should have been, like, the best one, but now we're barely... Well, no, we're not even 2 to 1. Yeah, because we threw a lot of it away, but... That's all right. Bannerlord giveth and Bannerlord taketh away. All right, let's take a look. So the palace guards absolutely devastated these guys. 510 kills. Yeah, they lost three-fourths of their army. So 150 are dead, 50 are left about. But they did really well. Archers did really well, not surprising. Horse archers did really well. Yeah, palace guards. So the shock troops and the archers are the only reason we won this battle. If we were relying on our our cavalry, we definitely would not have won this battle. So different units do better or worse depending on who they're up against and how you use them. So this is a very good example of archers were terrible in the, some of the previous ones, but they they did really well in this instance because it's it's up against mostly infantry. All right, it's time for the other infantry faction. We're going up against the Sturgeons in this case, and as expected, they have a ton of infantry. And they actually have a lot of cavalry as well, so that should be to our benefit. But the infantry are going to be a real big concern. So this is probably the, literally the worst map we could be on right now. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to go heads up with them. We don't have a lot of room to maneuver. So let's just make sure that we have a long enough line to cover their line. Archers in the back. We'll have horse archers to support them, as always. But yeah, essentially there's not much we can do. We'll line up our archers on the left so we can deal with their horse archers. Yep, picking them off a little bit. So like I said, this battle is going to come hot and heavy. They're already on us. Now we're exchanging javelins at least. Let's move our cavalry back just a little bit so they don't get sucked into that melee. We don't want that to happen. Yeah, infantry are coming in pretty quick. So we are going to have to give the charge command. Let's go do that now. So I always want to charge before the lines meet. And our cav are starting to skirmish with their cav, which is good. We don't want them messing with our infantry. We want the infantry to fight the enemy infantry. We're actually beating their infantry. Wow. I think we started with more infantry than they did. So I I suspect that has that's playing a role. Let's actually get our cav back a little bit more. I really don't want them getting involved with the infantry. I don't want them involved with the other enemy cav either. I would rather just save them and we can use them to go harass their their archers. Actually, let's go do that right now. Let's go harass the archers. And we need to we need to reconsolidate again. Our infantry are getting a little bit loose for my liking. I think we dealt with most of their infantry. I see a few stragglers. I think for the most part we got most of them. So let's just consolidate again. Right, we're gonna charge our cav- oh man, they are getting blasted. Yeah, that was a mistake. Alright, get the cavalry back. They're kind of sitting ducks. I was hoping they could do some damage. They have so many units, man. What are we supposed to do? We actually got some reinforcements here. And they actually spawned close to us. That's a good... That's a good sign. Let's get our archers back. 
the cavalry archers back as well so they don't get swallowed up. Right, melee cav can back up here. I don't see their infantry line, so they're still a little ways back. Let's just get our let's get our infantry back and off at a slight angle. Yeah, we got some reinforcements. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, they keep skirmishing with their cavalry. They're not really having much effect, so don't when you see cavalry charging you don't worry too much as long as you're in a nice tight formation i mean we don't have tight formation with our archers but we have a lot of horse archers mixed in and because our our foot archers are in loose formation they can shoot even with these guys in the way it's not that big of a deal well not all of them can but enough of them can we get a pretty open line here let's just open it up let's make sure enough of our horse archers are getting shots off too what we'll do is we'll actually open up a little wider. Let's get our infantry off to the right. Give a little more breathing room. So between our infantry or our foot archers and our horse archers, we are able to get similar numbers to their archers, but we're not really getting accurate shots at this point. So we'll hold fire. We don't want to burn through all of our ammunition. Let's go ahead and get our archers and cavalry archers up. Now foot archers have double quivers, so they have a little bit more leeway with ammunition. Horse archers do not. They have single quiver because they do have a shield. Anytime you see somebody with a shield and a sword, you know for sure they have at most one quiver. We got to be a little more picky with who they shoot at. Actually, we're getting some pretty good effect here. Yeah, we're killing more than they're killing us. We'll hold fire on our horse archers just for a little bit longer. Once they start coming in, we'll let them loose. Yeah, they're still not really wanting to commit. Let's let's push up even further. Let's see if we can bait them into attacking us. And we're going to let loose with our horse archers here. Yeah, I think it's time to, to pour it on them. Yeah, the whole line's going to be shooting. That should be putting in some hurt. They do have archers in the front, so we can whittle them down. And we're actually going to shield all the front. We are starting to lose some of our infantry, which we don't want to do. We need to conserve as many. They have a lot more reinforcements coming. So the more we conserve here, the better off we'll be. We could attack. They have mostly archers in there, so we'll win that melee, but they're moving now. Okay, infantry are moving, so we need to get back. Get back, 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 back. So go back to line formation. Let's push into them, and we're going to charge. Lines are met. Let's go ahead and charge it. And we're just going to give our cav the charge command. I don't think there's anything fancy we need to do here. They've got a pretty big force of reinforcements coming in actually so we need to be somewhat cautious let's let's keep our infantry here yeah, we don't want them getting too far ahead no they're already committed we can't if we pull them back they're all gonna die at least they'll get some kills so what we need to do is we actually need to retreat here let's start retreating first with our oh actually our foot archers are dead what in the heck is going on here okay they're screwing with our our formations i don't know what's going on we're gonna move back to their where they're supposed to be all right everybody pull back yeah, I don't know what happened there. We're still winning this. I mean, we're still three. Yeah, we're about 400 kills ahead, but we don't want to throw it away for free. I mean, we're, we're we're in good shape here, but they have a lot of units and we don't want to get overrun here. So we'll pull back. We got a lot of archers. Now let's actually get our cab charging. See if we can delay them. We need to delay as long as we can because we have almost no infantry here. We have 77 against their 172 plus 115. So like three or four to one outnumbered. We don't really want to fight that. All right. Loose formation with the archers. We'll get them in front again on that side. I don't know how we lost all of our archers there. That was really bizarre. They're on us already. We can't really do anything else. We just have to charge in. Our melee cav, they're getting sacrificed, but kind of have to do it. And actually, let's go ahead and charge our horse archers. There's some in there that don't have any ammunition left. And they could be they could be doing something useful rather than just sitting there. So let's do that. Yeah, our, our infantry are pretty much dead at this point. So let's go line formation with the, the foot archers. Let's see if we can get a nice line going. All right, infantry down to 50 units. That's not good. Yeah, they've got a lot of units. I mean, getting stuck in there is not good. I think we need to charge. We have enough. We have enough cavalry in there that's breaking them up into tiny little groups. And if as long as these guys stay as one cohesive unit, they should be able to dominate. Yeah, they're, our cab are getting stuck in there, getting killed, but I think it's going to be a good opportunity for our infantry to kind of get that local superiority. And hopefully enough cav don't get completely stuck and they can kind of sneak in and out of the, the fort, you know, the enemy group. So let's just periodically pull them back, get them tightened up, and charge them in again. Almost like a little, uh, little juggling, a little balancing act. Yeah, this looks like it might actually be over. We've killed a lot of units. Man, this is a big battle. There we go. So I think the key lessons on this one is just don't get too, don't get married to your position. 
you know, falling back is not always a bad thing. You can do kind of a staggered retreat. Our palace guards did well, but not as well as I had thought they would do. So actually heavy cavalry, palace guard. Yeah, so the heavy calves are our horse archers did really well. Actually, these palace guards got wiped out, but they did pretty well. Archers did okay. They got wiped out too, though. Heavy cavalry, veteran infantry. Yeah, the horse archers did an incredible job this time. They're at the top of the list for everybody. 121 kills with that many people. They had 20, 30, 40. So 40 people got 100. So basically they got three to one ratio. Yeah, I, I'm really impressed with the Mameluk Heavy Cavalry. It seems like just about every battle we put them in, they're doing really well. And actually these Master Archers did incredibly well too. Yeah, it seems like the range units, and, and I'm not too surprised because the enemy was mostly infantry, but you know, range units do counter infantry pretty well. Although the shield wall is kind of tough. Anyways, that was a good battle. I, I'm surprised it turned out that well. Time to deal with the Empire. They've got a decent mix of infantry and cavalry. They don't have a ton of ranged, so that might help us a little bit, but it's not going to be easy. Anytime they have a lot of infantry, it's generally a tough battle, especially in the beginning. So we're just going to keep everybody as grouped up as possible, and that's going to allow us to hopefully take out anybody that comes up quickly. We're going to send our melee cavalry in to go harass these guys. It's actually... Hold fire. Oh yeah, they're going to have to run right through. And we've got our archer's position right here. They should take full advantage of this. Yeah, this should be a slaughter. All right, let's focus on what else we got. Some archers we got to deal with. Right, let's reposition our archers here on the hill. Our archers and horse archers. We want to support these guys as best we can. They're going to send their horse archers back at us again. We're going to send... Yeah, just send the javelins. We're going to let them throw the javelins this time. All right, so we'll just keep skirmishing with them. We don't we don't seem to lose too many units doing that, and they're losing you know five each time they do it. So, so they're very slowly pushing, but not really actually. It looks like they're just gonna be happy to exchange, which I don't think is necessarily a winning battle. Well, no, they got more range units than we do, so maybe it is. There we go. So it looks like their cavalry are kind of getting aggroed now. They're they're coming back again. Yeah, so they're they're content to just skirmish here, which is fine. The longer we delay it, the better off we are, I think. Now, one thing we cannot do is fight their cavalry with our cavalry. That's just not going to work. Like, not even a little bit. So what we're going to do is let's actually put our melee cav right here, and that's going to help when, they're, when their cavalry come in to charge ours. We're going to have a little bit more meat here to help stop and absorb their, their charge. Yeah, we're just going to have to let the, the horse archers kind of do their thing. So their infantry are close, but they're not quite charging in yet. They're just slowly walking in. So it looks like they're going shield wall. And let's go ahead and charge in. Yeah, lines have met. And I'm just hoping we have enough to hold them off right here. Yeah, we have to hold this hill. I don't know what else we can do besides that. But we're actually not winning these exchanges. We're actually losing these, but we'll we'll have a better chance winning in the later stages, so we just need to survive till we get reinforcements. And then I think our reinforcements are going to have a better chance against theirs since we'll be consolidated. But yeah, I don't I don't expect this early stage to go well. 260. We're staying even with them at least, so that's good. Yeah, here comes their reinforcements. Yeah, they just got a gigantic chunk of infantry coming. Now we do have reinforcements coming as well, so they should be streaming in here, no problem. And like I said, we are in defensive position, so our reinforcements are coming from a closer distance, and we have the high ground. So because of that, we're actually pulling ahead now. So we're ahead 80 kills. So not ideal, but it's better than better than we were doing a few minutes ago. So infantry to the front. Again, we're just going to maintain a shield wall. They have a little bit of infantry coming, but it looks like they're actually just going to push they're going to push their range units up. So let's actually push our cavalry down the hill. Go charge them a bit. All right, there you go. Our infantry are finally catching up. Okay, these cav are just not cutting them. They're not doing anything. All right, let's get them back. They're just feeding. It's so frustrating, man. I try and figure a good way to use these cavalry, the asteroid cavalry, but they just don't. They're just not that good. They see on offense, they're not that good. Maybe they're okay on defense because they're fast and you can kind of reposition them a little bit, but... It's so hard to find a use, like an actual good use for them. All right, let's reposition our archers. Get them moved up a little bit closer. Again, we want this nice, tightly packed group back here. It's going to help slow and stop any enemy cavalry that kind of get through that front line. 
And because all these guys have range units, even the melee ones, they've got javelins, they can out at least help support against the enemy infantry charge. Alright, so we're... Okay, so our line held. Let's actually consolidate them a little bit closer because they have mostly range units for at least another 10-15 seconds. And then their shield wall is going to hit. Yeah, this is bad news. I don't know how we hold this. We need reinforcements pretty badly right now. Yeah, we're ahead by quite a bit, but we really need reinforcements. So here they come, actually. Well, no, those are rain melee. Yeah, melee cavalry are not really reinforcements at this point. They're just kind of cannon fodder. So we've got a few infantry coming. Our archers are going to have to hold. I, I don't know what else to do here. Yeah, our archers, actually, our archers should have a decent chance of holding. And now that the cavalry here, that should keep them off and we'll get shots on them still. So what we'll do is we'll we'll allow our cab to sweep across. Let's pull them back now. They got one good sweep in. It actually was pretty good. Yeah, that was definitely in our favor. So we're slightly ahead now. Well, not slightly, but we need to maintain this. We can't give them any ground at this point, just based on sheer numbers alone. Yeah, their cavalry are so thick, man. What the heck? All right, where's our infantry? I can't even tell where our lines are, to be honest. It's just one big clump. Yeah, I think that's our infantry. So we need to get them clumped up nice and tight because they do have a lot of cavalry still. I, I really think our archers are saving the day here. We didn't start with many, but the ones that reinforced are doing a heck of a job. They're getting enemy cavalry stuck and they're kind of shooting them off the horse. Let's actually get our, our melee cab need to get up here as well. Come on, boys. Get in there. Right, melee infantry are still alive, although that's not going to last long. Here comes their, their line. We have to charge. Keep them off the archers. Alright, this is it. This is the one that decides if we win or not. It is so close. Yeah, we're basically even in numbers at this point. Although a kill feed is looking like it's it's pretty healthy. What a battle, man. This is this is tough. Alright, looks like we might have cleared them out for now, but they have another 250 to 300. Yeah, they still have quite a few coming. Yeah, we're going to issue a general charge. I don't know if they're retreating or if they're just reconsolidating to their line. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty firmly in the lead here. So we had a good round here. Mamluk Palace Guards did a really good job. They got more kills than their units are. So we started with 200. We got 295. That's pretty good. Heavy Cavalry. Actually, the first did okay. I'm surprised these Cavalry actually did okay. Mamluk Heavy. Yeah, they did pretty decently as well. So, horse archers, veteran infantry, horse archers, cavalry. So, the infantry did respectably. Yeah, the horse archers are actually... I think the horse archers really saved our skin there. Cavalry and heavy cavalry both did really well. And then these guys had a lot of palace guards. Actually, they didn't have a lot of palace guards. Wow. They had 15 palace guards that got 63 kills. That is incredible. Archer... Actually, these guys had a few archers on them and they did pretty well. Yeah, it's the heavy... The heavy cavalry. The Mamluk heavy cavalry, the archers... Yeah, our horse archers did quite well. And same thing with the infantry. I think they saved our skin. Now let's talk about the important takeaways from all of these battles. We'll start with the Asurai specific tips and then cover the more generalized ones that can apply to any culture. Palace Guards and Mamluk Heavy Cavalry always performed well. As noted in a previous guide, shock troops are incredibly strong units, provided they have protection from projectiles, which was evident here. The horse archers also performed well, but only when kept stationary and not sent out to charge. The Ferris skirmisher cavalry were mediocre overall, but rarely performed well against enemy cavalry. They had some effect against unshielded units such as foot archers and horse archers. The Asurai AI nobles rarely recruited archers. Most armies consisted of 1,000 units or more and rarely had more than 100 foot archers. Fortunately, the Mameluk Heavy Cavalry can be used to supplement, but be aware, they only have one quiver of arrows. Mounted troops can be used as body blockers against enemy cavalry to great effect. Cavalry units don't take charge damage and hinder enemy cavalry's movement, so don't forget to use them defensively at times. Against cavalry heavy armies, it's incredibly important to keep units tightly packed for most of the engagement. This will cause enemy cavalry to slow down or stop entirely, making them vulnerable and limiting their charge damage. If your shield wall is heavily outmatched, bring foot archers into melee range to help hold the line. 
Archers aren't generally the best in melee combat, but their numbers can help turn the tide of battle when piling into a huge melee. Always keep an eye on the KDR throughout the battle. If outnumbered 2 to 1, then we must at least get 2 to 1 KDR to win. If you're not getting the necessary KDR, then changes to tactics must be made mid-battle or a loss will be inevitable. Similar to a previous point, stacking horse archers inside of loose formation foot archers can help protect foot archers from cavalry, while still allowing the foot archers to shoot arrows. When facing a large enemy shield wall, use staggered formations to cause the enemy shield wall to split into smaller groups. Cavalry are great at this, baiting part of the line to break away and give chase, but it can also be done with multiple groups of foot troops. When giving melee infantry the charge command, be sure to pull them back from time to time to keep them grouped up. If they spread out too much, they are much easier to pick off. Don't hesitate to fall back and retreat when necessary. Good positioning isn't worth losing half of your army over most of the time, and a strategic retreat can cause the enemy to overextend, giving you the advantage. And that's it, that wraps up this video. Let me know in the comment section what culture you'd like me to test out next. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.